Their life started to fall apart. Everything he touched turned to rot. Look, honey, it's your favorite. Come, sit with me, like in the old times. Everything I touch breaks. Good, solid undercoat. A primer that will hold it all together so it doesn't rot. The world is breaking around us. While I can certainly understand that you are upset, and I have nothing but sympathy for your wife and yourself, 
I must categorically state that I do not wish to receive any further correspondence from you in this matter. Any skin graft procedure is extremely complicated and inherently associated with the risk of failure. Having stated that, I assure you that me and my colleagues at St. Anne have made every effort to ensure a positive outcome for your wife. Personally speaking, I believe we have done the best job possible considering the extent of tissue damage. You are, of course, entitled to your opinion, and I can certainly understand your disappointment. What I do not understand is how you seem to think writing hateful letters to me or my fellow doctors will ameliorate the situation. As I've already stated, I can certainly understand you've been under a lot of stress as of late, and thus I will not press charges if you refrain from any further correspondence. Let me make it absolutely clear that I will not tolerate any further threats aimed at my staff, my family, or myself. If you wish to seek psychological help, I can have my assistant provide contact information for several specialists who would be more than competent to help you get through these hard times. Cleaning this house is a nightmare. We don't even use the fireplace that often, and ash is everywhere. Terribly sorry for your inconvenience, but we've seen no fluctuations of power in your area. And see no issues in the neighborhood. And since you didn't allow entry to our electricians, uh, we cannot help you in any way.
Some paintings defy simple words, let alone critique. A basic knowledge of the subject is an absolute must if one is to even try taming them. Babyface is one such painting. This art anomaly draws tens of thousands of mediocrity enthusiasts and Sunday abstraction aficionados. In reality, it looks like a result of a week-long art marathon of a not very well-adjusted painter locked in a dark basement. Leaving aside the horrible execution, the painting excels in the hideous.
can put it between the books, you'll never find it there. Hello? Hello? Yes, speak. Yes. What? what? 
What fire? Oh, God. Is she... Which hospital? I'm on my way. I won't let go. I won't let my passion decay. I can't. I would never. I will finish it. your letter was unexpected. Numerous colleagues have informed me that you had previously sought their advice in this matter, and while it is perfectly understandable for a patient to demand a second opinion, I would think 16 concurring opinions would be enough. Still, out of respect for you and your wife, I have examined the case thoroughly, and I have to concur with my colleagues. Involuntary muscle spasms are not uncommon with patients who have suffered burns as severe as your wife did. What you refer to as a freakish grin, or an unnerving yelp, though many would find such expressions hurtful, could indeed be manifestations of nerve damage. The other symptoms you mention do not seem to be physiological, but rather purely psychological in nature. Traumatic events can lead to severe stress, and that is nothing to be ashamed of. As to your demand that we fix your wife, you have to understand that what she went through cannot be undone with one simple procedure. It is a long, arduous process that will require all your strength and support. Please feel free to contact me or my colleagues should you wish to discuss a long-term rehabilitation program. This family won't work if you keep undermining me. It will break apart.
You put more and more locked doors between us, but it's my drinking that ruins the family? <laughs> this is childish. This was the only instrument she could play. The only music this family could accept.
insane with those we have electricity city for thousands of years I could do it too Without it, I'm broken. I have to finish it. All right, let's try this again. Finally managed to play a little. If banging on the keys awkwardly counts as playing. I won't lie. It drives me insane not to have full control of my fingers. In any case, I was promptly berated by my loving husband, who said I should be resting. I know he means well. 
But how will I ever get better if I don't work at it? The worst thing is, I could swear I smelled liquor on his breath. Oh god, please. Not this again. Needed a jar and a plastic tubing. This was the... Honey, Honey, remember? I will get you! Don't ride city buses. This is your chance to end segregation.
your truth. What the fuck? It's me. Mama? Did something happen? I... don't know. I don't feel good. I don't like this place. What do you mean you don't feel good? Do you need a doctor? No. It, it's dark in here. I'm scared. Mom, it's night. I think you just had a bad dream. Everything will be okay in the morning. I imagine the lighthouse gets lonely, but come on. It's you who wanted to go there. No, you don't understand. It's dark. It's awful and I can't write. Everything is... <laughs> Hello? Fuck! Now that's no way to greet your muse. What to your surprise? Creation isn't pretty. You pushed a human being into the world, and now you need to do the same with a book. I'm here to help you with that. How? How? She asks. <laughs> the same way I helped the painter, the musician, and the actor. All you have to do is choose. Your voice will be heard. It won't. It never is. And now, with my help, it's possible. Do you choose to use it? Say it. I do. I choose your help. Then, it is done. Hello? What do you mean? I, uh... You were scared, and the call was cut off, and... Oh, that? That's nothing. The generator died. It's fine now. Oh. Okay. I guess that's good. How do you feel? You sounded upset. I'm worried. I'm good. Mm, but... I'm good, son. It's as you said. I'm exactly in the place I wanted to be. Are you? Yes, I'm sure. I need to get back to work. Good night. Love you. Moths. 
drawn to the fire between them. No matter if it the flame was desire, despair, or hate. 